my dear brothers and sisters, the God in whom we believe is the God of the beginning and the end. The God whom you and I believe is the Alpha and the Omega. And therefore, we see the very first message that the angels came and gave the shepherds, do not be afraid. And why should we be afraid? When we see the very word Emmanuel in the book of Isaiah chapter 7. For unto a virgin is given a child, and he is Emmanuel, God with us. And if truly God is with us, there is nothing to fear. That is the reason why we see very clearly the angels coming and say, do not be afraid. God is with us. You and I are also caught up with fear. Fear destroys us. Fear becomes so terrible in our life. It dysfunctions our body, our mind, our very way of life. So much so, sometimes we are not able to think. We are not able to relate. We are not able to move. We are not able to grow. This fear is that which destroys, in a way, our very life and most especially our spiritual life. Therefore the angels come and say, do not be afraid. And that is the reason why we see again in the New Testament, God is with us. And that is to show that if God is with me, there is nothing should I be afraid of. Now when we look at that aspect, today's gospel reading gives a beautiful word. The verse is, he was in the world, and the word was made through him. And that is how we see that this light, the true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. Was coming into the world means that it is still continuously coming into you. This light that enlightens us is coming into you. The birth of Jesus Christ is coming into you. The light has dawned into you again today when you celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ. And that is the reason why John writes very clearly, the true light that enlightens everyone, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. Was coming is to show that it is still coming into my life, into your life. And if this is what the beginning and the end of our God is, then there is something that you and I should draw from. What am I going to draw from this celebration of the light that is coming into me and the light continually growing in me? Because God the Father has given us the best. The best is His Son. And if He has given us, He wants to tell you, I am giving you in your life every time, right from the beginning of your life, till you leave this place. That is to show He is the beginning and the end in our lives. And what is He doing? He is a giving God. And if He is a giving God, you and I should learn from this aspect. If God the Father gave us Jesus Christ, if God the Son has given us His life, then you and I have to give something. It happened to a young girl who was taken by her parents, a very rich parents. They took her for a shopping, Christmas shop. And there they took her to the beautiful pearl shop and told her, buy whatever pearl set you want. And the girl was so thrilled. As she was looking at the beautiful real pearls, that did not really attract her. But she went to the other part of that shop, where they were all imitations of these pearls. And there was a beautiful necklace. And that necklace was so colorful, that it really attracted her eyes. And then she told, her mom, mom, I like this necklace. I want this necklace. And mom said, listen, my child, 
This is a plastic necklace. It looks very nice to our eyes. This is a plastic necklace. No, mommy, I love this. I've seen all that, all the real pearls and all, but I love this necklace. And this child was so stubborn, wanted that particular necklace. The rich parents could not believe the eyes of that which attracted this young girl of this plastic necklace. And they could not do anything but buy that plastic necklace. And when they left the shop, her father said, Well, I have seen a beautiful necklace and I'll keep it for her. Because the father knows the love that child has. And therefore the father took a beautiful necklace, put it in his pocket, but to satisfy the little young girl, bought this plastic necklace which was very colorful. And as they went home, the mother said, my dear child, it's not looking so nice. You know, this plastic, you know, it will spoil your neck. You'll have some uh, skin problem. It may affect your skin. You must be careful. It will poke you. It will do this. It will do that. But the child said, no, I love it. And they went for the Christmas Mass. And the family went to the Christmas Mass and the Mass was over. The little child ran into the crib when the Mass was going. And the little child looked into the crib and seen the beautiful statues and all that arranged in the crib. And then looked at the little child Jesus. The little child Jesus looking at her and she looking at Jesus, the baby Jesus, suddenly made her realize that what I am doing is something wrong. She only knew that she has displeased her parents. And therefore, after the mass, when she came back home, she first went to her dad and said, Dad, I displeased you. I want to remove this necklace and give it back to you. And you won't believe, my dear friends, that dad immediately from his suit pocket took out the beautiful necklace and gave it to her and said, this is what I wanted to give you. And if you give out that, this is the best gift. And this is exactly what the Heavenly Father has done to us. We are caught up with so many things in this world. We want all those that glitters in this world. We want everything that really pleases our eyes. We really want so many things. Sometimes our eyes are so deceptive that we look at things and we are totally caught up with it. But our Heavenly Father knows what is best for you. What is the only thing that is good for you? And therefore He comes to enlighten us, to give you that light. That light that was coming, is coming again into you. So that you realize that why Jesus has come into this world, to give. So that I may give up, just like how this child gave up the plastic dirty necklace, even though it was looking beautiful. When she gave up, she received something beautiful, original pearls. It's not important about the original pearl, but she received the precious one. And when you and I give up that which attracts our eyes and that which really mesmerizes us in this world, when we give up all our bad ideas, bad thoughts, bad behaviors, our weaknesses, our attachment, then the Lord comes to give you. And therefore our God is one who keeps on giving. Now suppose if this girl kept on wearing this plastic necklace, her father was still treasuring that beautiful original pearl necklace with him. Even if you and I are bad, the heavenly father is still storing something for you. And therefore you and I should desire for that. It will come one day. The light was coming into the world. The light will dawn upon you and then you will realize, Oh, I think this is what God is giving me. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, finally it is what we learn from this celebration is all that we acquire, all that we amass, all that we 
treasure all the wealth that we have, we will one day leave and go away. We are not going to take it along with us when we leave this world. But what are we going to take with us when we go out there? All that you give. Because the Heavenly Father has taught us to give. The Son of God has taught us to give. The Holy Spirit is one which kept on giving us gifts. And therefore, if our God is a giving God, He expects you also to keep giving. This is Christmas. And therefore you go and give. Today you must do something like that. Go and give something nice for someone. It happened to a young boy, a street boy, who went near the crossroads and at the crossroads he found a man coming with a beautiful car. And as he stopped the car, this young boy looked at him and said, Sir, beautiful. And this man immediately pulled down the screen and said, Hey! And the man said, the boy said, Sir, the car is beautiful, new, beautiful. You want to come and sit in? And the boy said, I don't mind, I want to sit inside the car. He came and sat in the car, he took him for a ride. And when he took him for a ride, he was telling the young boy, you know, this is a new car, just now my wife surprised me with this gift. And the boy was going on a long ride, and as he was going, suddenly this boy said, Uncle, left side is my house. And that road went on the left side. As he took the left, he said, Uncle, go right. Uncle, go left. And there was a small little busty lane. And this man has a new car. This car may go, may not go. But this boy said, Uncle, the end of that busty is my house. Please come. This boy somehow guided this car to come to the end of that road, went to that house. And immediately, as soon as he got down, Uncle, one minute, I want you to see my younger brother. He went, brought his younger brother, and his younger brother was paralyzed. He was crawling on his four legs, and then coming into that place where the car was. And the man said, this is your son, brother, yeah, tell him to come inside. So he came, sat inside the car, enjoyed the beautiful car, and then he told, Uncle, thank you very much. My brother also is very happy that he sat in your new car. The man said, Okay, bye. This young boy guided the car safely outside the, out of the busty, and this man came back home. This man came back home, his wife was all worried. What happened? I'm calling you and you're not picking up my call. You don't know, my dear love, the best thing I have ever experienced today. It's not about your car. I'll tell you, sit down, and he told the whole story. And after telling the story, she was also surprised that he could give something to someone deserving. Later on, my dear friends, 17 years after that, this young boy who was helped by this man throughout his studies and as he was studying, he became a diploma in automobile, in a, uh, automobile mechanic and after that he had his own garage. One day, when this man went to that garage, this young boy recognized him and said, Uncle, you still have this car? And he said, yes. He repaired the car, he serviced it and gave back to us this. And he said, it is because you helped me. I am today not on that crossroad begging whenever the car comes and stops. I am now doing something. I am able to teach someone that this is what God has done to me. This is what you and I should give. If our God is a giving God, give. Because we may lose everything when we go away from this world. But what remains is giving. Giving is eternal. Amassing, acquiring is all just temporary. It will all go away one day. 
but what you give remains with you eternal because our god is the beginning and the end and he wants you to give amen